Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. About four months ago, I posted a video that Microsoft Edge could be getting a new drop hub for sharing files and notes across devices. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to that video as it will just give you a little bit more information. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, Microsoft Edge's drop is currently being tested in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, and is found in the sidebar as a quick action button and productivity tool that opens up in the side pane and the side panel in Edge Canary, which lets you uh, save files or notes in OneDrive and is a feature that also lets you drag and drop files and access them using Microsoft Edge on your other devices. Now, just a quick video just to do a follow on from that previous uh, post I did regarding drop. And um, just to let you know that Microsoft now has started to test a new tool and add another feature to the uh, drop feature in Edge Canary. And it's a new tool to take and edit screenshots which up until recently has been on a controlled rollout and will appear in about this location at the bottom of the side panel. Now, um, recently though, Microsoft did make the feature available now using an experimental flag. So um, if you'd, we'd like to try out and if you'd like to test and try out the new um, tool to take and edit screenshots using the drop feature in Edge Canary, um, we'll have to enable that experimental flag. And to do this, we just head to the address bar as always and we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And um, in the search, we're gonna just type in enable screenshot. It's just a very simple description for that flag, enable screenshot. And that's it, that's the flag, enable screenshot. And it says enable screenshot, very simple description available for Mac and Windows. And it doesn't tell us where the actual tool is gonna be located, but nonetheless, um, we change that from default to enabled. We restart the browser as always to apply that flag. And now if we head back to drop in the sidebar and open the side panel, you will see that we have our screenshot tool, which is now located at the bottom um, of the side panel. And if we hover over that, you can see it says screenshot and you can actually activate the tool using Alt and S as a keyboard shortcut combination. Or if we just click on it and it'll open the tool and it acts like a screen snippet and a screen capture tool. And if I just drag that atop the cross of my new tab page, just to demonstrate for this video. And in the um, bottom right hand corner of the screenshot, that little square with the crosshairs, I don't know if you can pick it up in the video, but it's actually giving me the width and the height of my screenshot in the pixels. So that's the width and height in pixels. So that's actually a very handy feature just to give you the exact dimensions of your screenshot. So if we let that go, that places some options um, at the bottom with a brief description. So we can place a square. So I'm going to place a green square in the screenshot. So very similar to paint, actually. A circle, and that's a red circle. And then we can place an arrow. Just some basic editing tools. Uh, we can draw. Let's just keep that at red. We can squiggle across the top. There's a mosaic. And then we can add some text. Let's just keep that yellow so you can see that in the video. And let's just type in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then over and above those options, um, the square, circle, arrow, drawing, and text, and mosaic, we can actually save that to our local drive. We can undo um, all those different options we've added in and those little drawings and text we've added. We can cancel the screenshot, and then we can actually copy that to clipboard, copy it to clipboard, and that actually places that uh, in the side panel and the side pane um, of the actual drop feature in Edge Canary. And it says send, send photos and I can send that image and that photo and that screenshot to my actual OneDrive account that's linked to Edge Canary. And there you go, it's actually now sent that and popped that in my OneDrive um, storage online. And if I click on that, open with OneDrive online, we have a couple of options, open with associated app. You can copy open in folder, which is located on your local drive and then you can actually delete that screenshot and that image as well. So that's just a couple of um, um, options we have available once that's placed in your OneDrive storage online. And as mentioned, um, might be handy um, um, because it's linked directly to OneDrive. Now we do have some other screenshot tools available in the Edge web browser already called Web Capture and Web Select, but um, nonetheless, this might be handy as it is linked directly to your OneDrive account and your OneDrive storage. So if you do use OneDrive on a regular basis, then if and when this does roll out to a stable version, this could be quite handy. Also, you, you know, you can just use those screenshots. You can just use the screenshot tool to take those screenshots and that will place those directly then 
into your OneDrive storage online. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.